Yeah. Something about pumpkins, they just make people smile. Contestants from across the province descended on Langley with one thing in hand, a giant pumpkin. Our trend continues. Hoping for theirs to be the largest. My dad had no idea what he was up against. <laughs> I bet I bet taking care of a giant pumpkin is as hard as taking care of a ki kid. Trevor Halliday from Maple Ridge has been growing pumpkins for years, even traveling to contests in the United States. And he'll be competing as the only Canadian in a regatta later this year to row with his pumpkin in hand. I got a second last year. My wife got a third. Um, this year we took two down to the States and uh, we got a couple thirds down there. It's been a good year. But it's not all fun and games. Contestants say be prepared to carve out more than just your pumpkin. It's a lot of work. Like I did four this year. I'm up at four in the morning, I, an hour and a half work in the morning. I call these my pumpkin abs. The annual event organized by Giant Pumpkins BC. The man behind it once upon a time a winner himself. Yeah, 2016, I think it was like 2014, 15, 16, 17, 18, I think. Yeah, I think it was like seven years in a row. The aim is to showcase local growers and foster community spirit. And it's good to illustrate and show kids a good thing about farming and agricultural, and it's a really great way to connect with kids, right? For people of all ages, it's about more than just the gourd. It's a chance to learn about farming and maybe get some tips to compete in the next challenge. Yasmin Cantab, CBC News, Langley.